Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day 22. So, I'm here getting my breakfast organized. It actually rained all night last night, but it was a, I guess, a gentle rain, no thunderstorm which I'm grateful for and even more grateful that we wake up and it's not raining so very happy about that we had time to pack of course the fly is wet and everything but that's okay we can uh, we don't have to try to do the impossible packing in the rain forecast had said that it was going to rain today but I looked again now and it looks pretty good so it's cloudy but I'll show you the sky uh, thinking anything can happen at this point anyway I wanted to there was a question from Amy my dear dear Amy how are you Amy, Amy is, um, is a superstar diver from um, Canada and she was curious to see what I was eating in the day. So today I'm going to show you everything I'm eating, Amy. So the first thing is, let me flip this. I'm boiling my water right now. In it. I'm just getting close to it. So this is pretty much the staple for me. It's a Quaker um, oats. So of course, it's gluten-free, but it's got maple and brown sugar in it. So it's fairly sweet, which we need the sugar for the hike. I haven't added anything to it, but I happen to like bought some nuts and raisins and stuff. So I think I might add a little bit of that this morning. And then I have two instant coffee that I do. Um, this is one of them. This is the um, Starbucks Via Colombia. And I uh, have another one which is bold, called Alpine Star. Those are the two best ones I've found so far. So, so I will make that up and I will show you what it looks like in a second. Um, so this is what the coffee looks like. Not too bad. This is my oatmeal. And what I'm doing is, so I have this little bag that I put at, at my waist. <laughs> um, so what I do is I pack what I want to eat for the, like during the hike. So I'm bringing some food to go. This is a really energy pro electrolyte vitamin B. So it gives you good energy. It's really easy to eat. Uh, I have a protein bar, which is three eggs white, six almond, four cashew, two dates, no BS. <laughs> this is a blueberry flavor. And then uh, more electrolyte. So this one is already open. It's liquid IV. I already put it into my bottle that I am uh, using <coughs> for departure. So um, that's not a lot of food right now. But if we stop, then I might get something else out. But usually during the day, these bars is enough. In fact, I'm looking at this now. I'll probably add one more bar. Um, we have t about nine, nine miles to do today. So, yeah, I probably need one more thing. So I'm going to get something else. Okay, I decided to add one more of these. They're so thin, they're really easy to carry. And then um, an oat and honey. Um, so this will be good too. And for a, something really nice to have some olives. This won't fit in my little pouch, but I'll put it just at the front of my pack somewhere with an easy access. So this is what I'm going to do for today. I'll talk to you later. I best to have my coffee and my oat because uh, I feel some drops coming in. All right. So we have hit the trail and uh, we left camp at about 8.30, which isn't too bad. Eventually, I really like to think 8 o'clock should be my departure time, ideally. 
yeah, earlier if we want to, but now we have gone to summer, over summer solstice, our longest day of the year. It's only gonna get shorter, but I mean, barely noticeable. But 8 a.m. departure for me is a good go. Eventually, but the miles start to increase. Uh, my speed probably won't increase that much altogether. Maybe a little bit, but I purposely intend to be slow and careful. So I think as a mile increase, my days are just going to be longer, adding breaks, etc. So if I leave at eight and hike till, you know, four, it's uh, eight hours. I think eight hours of hiking will be my minimum. Sometimes it might go to six o'clock, five, six o'clock. So it'll be eight, nine, ten hours of hiking with breaks and a slow speed. So getting out of camp earlier definitely will be helpful. So that's what I'm going to aim at. Uh, this little uh, gang that I'm with now are a little bit slower in the morning. So I'll probably just head out and agree to meet where we said we are going to meet anyway. Um, we were really lucky as we we're just about packed up. It started to rain again. So we got a nice little break just to break down tent, pack up. Of course, I had to pack up a fly and the footprint was pretty, pretty wet. But I have a separate garbage bag that I can put my wet things on for these particular um, instances. So, so that works good. Uh, Anyway, I also have this <coughs> umbrella that I tie off to my pole. Even though I'm thinking if I ever want to stop somewhere to have lunch and just want to be protected from the sun. I mean, the sun, it would protect me from the sun too, but protected from the rain, I have the umbrella. Also, the umbrella does attach to my uh, straps here. I haven't tried to hike with it yet like that. I think I would do it in a wide open area, but if it's gonna, if your umbrella's gonna get ca caught in branches and stuff, not worth it. Plus, even though it's raining, when you have so many trees on top of you, it really protects you. You're not getting like down poured on your head. Plus, you know, we have good protection. I have my pack cover there, which hopefully works well. And then inside my bag, my very important cargo that must not get wet, like my sleeping bag, my sleeping clothes, uh, my mat. Um, that's all into a special bag, a waterproof bag. And then all of this collectively is in another bag. So there's a lot of redundancy that hopefully ensures that nothing gets wet. Anyway, it seems like it's not raining now, so. But we are grateful for the rain. The rain is needed for the land. We know it's very dry. So the land and the fauna and flora is happy and uh, we can cope with it. My feet are dry. So far, the path is amazing. I'm sure we're gonna have some more of these rocks soon. And then that's when the speed will, again, slow right down because uh, rocks are gonna be slippery for sure. Anyhow, that is the update for the time being. Hope everybody's having a good day, a good morning, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Bye. just came out of the wood and uh, there's a clearing. So whenever you get a, a clearing like this, this is a very small, narrow one, but whenever you have a clearing, it's always because of a, either a gas line or uh, electricity. So you see a pole like this. And then of course on our map, it says this, this is a gas line, but Sometimes that's where 
we are getting out of the green tunnel and seeing some views. You can see. Oh, sorry, this is like dizzying. Let me just cut that out here. Let's go back this way. So you can see you come out of the woods. You see the view or the clearing. And you go back to the woods. But it's nice to have that. So it's very cloudy, but it's just drizzling right now. So that's not too bad. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is last night when we got to camp, I was really tired. I went to bed. I went to bed. I went to my tent like around seven and read a little bit and chilled and stretched and whatever and really was fighting to to get to sleep to not go to sleep because i thought it was way too early chatted with jack for a little bit on text and and then went to bed at like 8 30 or 8 8 30 fall asleep and i didn't really wake up I, I tossed and turned a couple of times through the night and I didn't even wake up until 6. 6.30 I got up. So that's like 10 hours of sleep. Just goes to show I was really tired and I needed to recuperate. And I have to say through the night, you know, hearing the rain was very soothing, felt comfortable and very confident that my tent, you know, would be fine and the water would come in. So it was it was very nice it was soothing really good sleep and um feel rested this morning you know had my breakfast and had the opportunity to do my business yeah business in the wood when you do these dispersed campsite there's no privy so you got to dig a hole so dug a hole did my business so felt good and I feel like I have energy this morning to, uh, to be hiking again, uh, which is great. Um, but, you know, I'm thinking about it yesterday. Again, I didn't stop as much as I should have. I thought I was going to get to the watering hole and get a, a rest. But as it turns out, that watering hole was where we were camping. So it was our destination. I didn't go to the watering hole. I was kind of feeling chilly and tired, so I wasn't gonna go into the water for sure. Uh, Andrea went, Hungry Bird went, and uh, Mander went and tried to fish even, which was nice, but I, I didn't go. But my point is that I really need to um, always stop and have breaks. And I realized, too, I was really thirsty, so I hadn't really had enough to drink throughout the day because I didn't refill my bottle. If you stop, you refill your bottle, and I didn't do that, so I didn't drink as much as usual. So when I was in my tent, I, <clears throat> before falling asleep, I probably drank a three-quarter of a liter of water. And I didn't even wake up to go pee. I didn't need to pee. And even when I got up this morning, I didn't need to pee right away. It's only after breakfast that I needed to pee. So all of these are signs that yesterday, you know, I was tired. I didn't have, I didn't drink enough water. I didn't have breaks and I was tired. So if you take the time to stop and rest, refill your bottle, drink lots of water, you probably don't feel tired, which is what I've done up until now. And that works. So it's good to have reminders to tell you the important things to do. So thus, that's really important to me. Stretching, because nothing is aching. I'm on day 22. What day did I say? 22. And nothing aches. Yeah, my feet are, you know, working hard and I feel the muscles working hard. All those little, little muscles in your feet that help you stabilize, ensure you, you know, you stay on your foot in this rough terrain. But I'm not, I'm not hurting, which is amazing. I'm, I'm so happy with that. My back is good with 
even carrying the heavy load when you come out of a resupply you, you know you, f you have all the food that so makes your pack so much so much uh, heavier but even that I mean, my back is good so the things that I know I need to do that are making it possible to do this daily I need to continue to do and remind myself to do them okay so this is what the the path looks like so far so good a little bit of rocks but not bad at all so let's see what this nine miles today will bring us I am sure there will be more rocks to negotiate this is rock Sylvania I think I explained it before but that's what it's known for the hiker Pennsylvania instead of Penn they change it to rock because it's full of rock the entire state long so they call it Rock Sylvania. <laughs> All right, I put a phone away and get a sip of water before I continue. All right, three miles into it, uh, a third of the way for today. So far so good um with time to fill up my water bottle the one that i just drink out right here so i stopped put my pack down and filled up my bottle went for a little a pee pee and now i'm gonna have my first snack of the day which is the rx what's it called rx bar so some protein and dates so this will work good and uh, I decided not to get there is a water source here but I decided not to go for that because I have enough the next water source is a little less than two miles so I could easily you know get there so I don't know if you know these bars but they're they're pretty hard actually they're good for what they are because it's like three egg whites six almonds, four cashews, two dates. There's nothing else in it. But they're very hard kind of to eat. So what I do is I take a little bit and uh, I fold it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this part here. And um, I fold the bag. And I love these lululemon pants because let me just change the angle here i'm sorry but i have big deep pockets so i'm going to put this here and just eat it as i go which is good so i'll put my pack back on and keep going doing some little mid-afternoon mid look, <laughs> look at these marshmallow we have oh. our fire master mr mander <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh. salamander nice call now mander and he is expert at making fire and we're having beautiful marshmallow oh look at your horse oh. he just took a bite of that that is awesome so i'm going to do mine with the kinds of oats and honey that's going to be in lieu of the graham cracker which isn't gluten free so i look forward to that so another little rest we're almost at the shelter but we stopped for a pee and a potential water refill and so i'll take an advantage of this and having a little fruit to go so we just come out of a controlled burn area. It was really large. This area, road or trail is integral to a controlled burn being conducted sometimes between, for your safety, the area will be closed on burn day. Oh, so they just do it in different times, huh? Very interesting. what it looked like it was a very it went for a long way this is very interesting <clears throat> oh 
<coughs> okay. So we came to camp and I was hungry, but it had to go get some, um, had to go get some uh, water. So I had a little bit of moon cheese um, as like snack. And then my dinner was, I found some gluten-free tortillas, which is amazing. So I wrapped the EVOO wild yellowfin tuna, which are an extra olive oil, into the tortilla, and that was my dinner. And the asparagus were delicious. And now I'm going to have a Swiss-made milk chocolate. Hey, why don't you show them? What is this? It's a little salamander I found. Oh my gosh! After, he's after super my name, baby, he's a baby. What are you gonna do? Is he is he like uh, having a hard time, or what's happening with him? I'm just, I just found him under a log, and I'll put him back after. You put him back? Oh wow! It's pretty cool.